Hi everyone, Tim Hodges welcoming you back to the Armour Oil Summer Grill. Uh, Jack Perkins, looking ahead to 2016, one of the teams who will be really intriguing how this will play out is Brad Jones Racing. For the first time in a long time, they've changed their driver lineup. On paper, how do you see it performing with Tim Slade, Tim Blanchard and the old man of VH, Jason Bright? Well, Brad Jones Racing, we, we often say, you know, they're a team that punches above their weight and they do a fantastic job, you know, being the only team based in, in rural Australia, in Albury. But look, they want to shake that tag. They want to be race winners and you know potential champions. Uh, con continuity's been a big thing for them in the past. Obviously, driver stability and sponsor stability. But this year, with two fresh drivers, it'll be you know interesting for them. But Tim Slade's a, a great driver who works incredibly hard at his racing, and you know fresh faces can you know really do a, a few things for the team. So we've seen them start well. You know, Fabian Coulthard has started the last two seasons incredibly well but hasn't been able to go on with it. Normally around the Enduros, they lose a little bit of form and don't quite get the results of the bigger players. If they can you know, improve the, the, the consistency, I guess, through that time, make sure the bad days aren't as bad as they need to be. And look, I think you know, they can really do some good things. Let's touch on each of the three drivers and cars. Tim Slade, a good friend of yours, joins his team. He's still to win a race. He's come very close. Is this the car to take him to victory lane in this sport finally? Yeah, I think so. I mean, he will really enjoy this family team environment. When he last was in a family team environment at Stone Brothers, he finished fifth in the championship in 2012. And, you know, he finished second something like four times behind Craig Lowndes. So, you know, he was very competitive in those races. And I'm sure his first win will come with BJR. And it's a great choice from them. Another Tim, Tim Blanchard, switches from Dumbrell to BJR, brings funding with him. What can he hope for in 2016? Yeah, it's just more improvement. I mean, Tim's, a, Tim's actually a really good driver and you know, won the Australian Formula Ford Championship and had some good results with Lucas Dumbrell, but for him, it's the first time he's had two consecutive years in the championship, which will be you know, very important to him. Build on the experience from 2015 and really take that through to 2016. Again, another team environment. He's got an extra car, another teammate, and a few more resources around him. So he, you know, he needs to really start cementing himself in the sport. And then the old man of the sport, Jason Bright, he'll hate me saying that. He had his best weekend at the last weekend of the V8 year at the Sydney 500. Do you still think he's got it to be able to go and be super competitive week in, week out and win races in this category? Yeah, I mean, Bright is one of our, you know, well, he's a world-class driver, you know, racing Indy cars and things. And when Bridie is on his day, he is almost impossible to beat. But unfortunately, you know, and he'll be the first to admit he hasn't been on his day as often as he'd like to. And it's about improving the consistency of the results and getting the car up the front more often. I think again now he's had a bit more continuity with the team. It's a new team, some new teammates will help him as well. And I think you know this could be a fantastic year for BJR. Thanks for your time, Jack. We're really looking forward to seeing how the Brad Jones Racing performs on the track in 2016. Well, Brad, um, 2015, uh, another year for BJR, but 2016 is really going to take a whole new look in terms of your driver lineup. Well, we haven't had a change for a fair while, and uh, so we've got two new guys coming on board, so that's pretty exciting stuff. Uh, Timmy Slade is going to be in the Freightliner car, and Tim Blanchard will be in the 21 car, so uh, plenty of work to be done. Your team has always been known as a small, close-knit team. Sometimes change like that could be, you know, it is a big change though, but what do you like about these two guys coming in? Well, change can be unbalancing. So sometimes that's good and sometimes it's bad. Um, I think Tim, uh, Tim's got plenty of untapped potential. When he was with Stoney's, he finished fifth in the championship and hasn't been able to repeat that form. And so, uh, you know, I, I'm hoping that we're going to be able to work hard with him and get, get that sort of result from him. I, he's a great little driver and, um, uh, you know, I guess it's sort of in the same boat as Fabian was when he came to us. They're hungry. You're, I mean, you're hungry for success all the time, but these guys coming in, that, that, they really want success though, don't they? Absolutely. And, and uh, I mean, everyone wants to win. And you, know, you look at Tim Blanchard's pedigree, Formula Ford champion, went over to England, finished second in the Formula Ford championship there. It's, it's, you know, it's those sort of building blocks you need in your past to be able to become successful. You know, Slady, fifth in the championship. You know, I rang and spoke to Ross Stone about him. So you, you want to do as much due diligence on them, on them as you can to make sure that you've got, got guys coming in that can get the job done. And you've kept, and you've kept a guy who's a real crafty veteran in the squad as well with Brighty. Yeah, look, you know, he's been here probably longer than he's been in any other team. He's, um, you know, and you definitely need continuity and he certainly offers that. And I think 
you know, Lowndes is showing that, that at that age you can still be very, very competitive. And so we, um, yeah, we just need to do some work over the, the summer and, um, and hopefully we're going to come out of the blocks and be strong as usual. Each week, Armour All will be giving away the ultimate summer pack. The pack comprises of a range of summer products such as the Armour All foldable chair, Armour All hat, chiller esky bag, bottle opener, Armour All stickers, along with a range of Armour All products to keep your car looking cool and clean this summer. To enter the draw, all you have to do is click on the link below and fill in your details. It's that easy. See you tomorrow for another episode of the Armour All Summer Grill. Possibly the very simplest tip I can give you when washing a car. Don't be a dill and wash your wheels and drag all the grime and brake dust up onto your paint and put swirls possibly in your paintwork. Why not just use two sponges? One for the paintwork, one for the wheels. And really, for the sake of a couple of bucks, tell me why you wouldn't do that.